was a script I had read in 2007 uh, as an actor. Uh, it was something my agent sent to me. Um, and it reads like a play. My, my, my team knows I like, I like wordy things. You know, most times in screenplays, you're lucky if you get a, uh, a piece of work that lasts or a scene that lasts more than four or five pages. You know, you read a play, you get a 20, 30 page scene. So, so the longer you can have dialogue exchanges, the more I'm into the project. Especially with this film, you know, we have scenes that are really long walk and talks. You know, we, we tried to capture moments in, in, in the most lengthy fashion. And if, if you're in the scene and then you stop and go watch playback every time, you know, these four or five minute long scenes, you're, you're doubling the shooting time. So it's, it, you kind of have to go on a little bit of faith and trust your producers uh, a lot of the time. Uh, so it would have been nice to have spent a little more time maybe in the director's chair watching a monitor as opposed to being in the scene. Um, going into it, you have to maintain a certain level of humility because there are uh, many aspects that I'm not familiar with. So you want to make sure, a lot of directors said, don't be, don't be too proud to lean on people. Understand that your producers, your DP, your production manager, these are all people who do this for a living. So it's okay to ask them questions. It's okay to trust them. This doesn't have to be a one-man show. Um, so, so a lot of it was about checking your pride at the door, um, but, but in terms of learning from the directors that weren't so good, um, what, what I always found really holds a production up is a lack of uh, communication and a lack of knowing what you want. If, if, if a director knows what they want and knows how to convey that, not just to the other actors, but to the producers, to the millions of departments you have to work with, that's what makes the, the machine work well. Um, so. Actually, you learn a lot more when it doesn't work. I'm looking to pursue directing. You know, in the immediate future, I, I'm only looking to uh, fulfill my contract with Marvel. If I'm going to act, it will be either in Marvel or something that I'm directing. And somehow it was twisted into it would either be Marvel or I'm directing. Not that I would be directing something I would act in. And then later in the article, I even say, you know, I, I, you can't say you'll never act again. In five years, I may want to. And somehow the title of the article was Chris Evans is retiring from acting, which every other news outlet picked up. No, by no means am I retiring from acting. You know, I, I love acting. I just, uh, you know, creatively, I'm, I like new things and directing really sparked my interest. So I'm going to try and explore that for a little while.